opposition or Hamas remaining in power. In an op-ed two days ago in the Jerusalem Post, uh, published two days, two, two days ago, Israeli intel intelligence minister uh, Gila Gamilal, I don't know if I pr pronounced the, the name correctly, wrote, there is another option which is to promote the voluntary resettlement of Palestinians in Gaza for humanitarian reasons outside of the Strip. What is your view and the U.S. administration's view towards that op option and suggestion? We have been explicit at the level of the president, the secretary of state, that we do not support any displacement or expulsion of Palestinians from Gaza. We don't support it to Egypt. We don't support it to any other country. The future of the people of Gaza lies in Gaza, not elsewhere. Okay, when the first Israeli uh, war uh, started, or the offensive has started, there was a request for uh, Palestinians in north, northern Gaza to evacuate the north and move to the south, claiming that Hamas' stronghold is in the north. Uh, days ago, the Israeli military has announced that it has extended its campaign to the, to the, to the, to the, to the south. My question is to you, uh, Mr. Satterfield, if they were evacuated from the north to the south and now the South is a scene of operation for the Israelis. Where do they go? Those people who have moved to the South must be allowed to return to their homes in the north of Gaza as soon as possible. We support absolutely the right of individuals to go back to their homes. There is no permanent internal displacement within Gaza. There should be no external displacement of Gaza. We are working with the government of Israel, with the Israeli military, on what the planning is for South Gaza. We have underscored the critical importance that there cannot be any further significant internal displacement. It would challenge the ability of the humanitarian networks, which are already under significant stress, to continue. We want to see Israel succeed in its campaign, but we also wish to see the people of Gaza, concentrated, as you note, now in the South, able to receive the basic services they require, and to repeat, able to go back to their homes in the North. Okay, despite the U.S. requests that you have just mentioned to Israel, some would suggest, or there is a notion now, that, there's, that there are deaf ears in the is uh, in Israel and it's not it's no longer responding to US requests can you comment on that notion that is not correct simply it's not correct okay moving yeah. to Lebanon mr satterfield it is evident that washington does not want any escalation on the Lebanese front. However, Israeli actions from targeting civilians and journalists, in addition to Israeli official statements that were made recently, reflect an intention for an escalation. What is the U.S. doing in order to contain this desire? Well, I categorically reject the assumptions in your interesting statement. His it's not a statement, Mr. Satterfield. It's a question. Hezbollah launched attacks on Israel over what had been a quiet border. Those Hezbollah attacks have continued. They have extended in range and number progressively over the course of these last weeks. It is a Hezbollah calculation that they can conduct this campaign um, without incurring any response from Israel. That is not a correct assumption. Israel is responding to attacks on its territory, which it did not initiate. And awkward and unpleasant as the fact may be, it is Hezbollah which has generated the threat on the border. It is Hezbollah which has it in its power to stop. And we have every confidence that any potential escalation would halt immediately were Hezbollah to come to that judgment. Sadly, once again, for the people of Lebanon, Hezbollah's calculations are somewhat different. Okay, my last question, Mr. Satterfield. If any un un uncontrolled spillover occurred in the South and the war extended, I know you don't like hypoth hypothetical questions, but this question needs, need, needs to be asked. If things spill over and there was an escalation, will the U.S. participate in targeting Hezbollah? It is a hypothetical, and as you correctly assume, one I will not comment upon except to note 
we don't believe that there is any necessary escalation that will take place so long as Hezbollah does not continue to provoke in ever-expanding fashion targets in Israel which require an Israeli response. Do you have any knowledge of any messages or any any uh, information maybe conveyed to you by by by, thir by a third party uh, reass a reassurance from Hezbollah that it does not want to escalate either? What parties may say they wish or don't wish to do is less significant than what their actions generate. If Hezbollah does not wish to see an escalation, it should cease the attacks across the border. Full stop. Mr. David Sutterfield, U.S. Special Envoy for Middle East uh, Humanitarian Issues, thank you so much for this interview. Thank you.